in this video i'll introduce you to the uh, sas prop in the uh, last session i mentioned about uh, uh, sas prop well sas props are nothing but the sas procedure uh, which we use to work upon the data we analyze the data by using uh, the uh, sas prop so these are inbuilt procedures uh, in other programming language, you might have parameters, uh, SAS procedure, uh, sorry, uh, the procedures and the functions in almost in every uh, language, languages, whether it's C, Java, uh, anything, uh, you would have seen uh, the uh, different prop uh, procedures and functions. You can, of course, write your own procedure uh, in different other languages. Even in SAS, you can write your own procedure. But there are so many inbuilt props or the procedures uh, which you can use to analyze the data. Uh, there are so many of them. Uh, I'll discuss uh, a couple of them. In the last session we created uh, this data set, uh, sample data, and then uh, I'll introduce to you uh, one of the most uh, popular proc in SAS, uh, proc print. So what does this proc does? So uh, what does this proc do? Uh, it it prints the data. Syntax you can see proc print data and then give your data set name. That's all. Okay. If you run this, you can run by submitting here, okay? Or else you can press F4 or F8 and it will run it for you. You can see uh, whatever is there um, in the data set, it's printed in the uh, result uh, viewer screen. If you want to uh, print only a single variable, you just mention the name of the variable that you want to print. I want to print only A, nothing else. So uh, you just write VAR A. So VAR is the uh, um, is the uh, keyword. Okay. So every anywhere you see this uh, you know colored uh, you know the uh, colored alphabets. Um, then these these words are the keywords. Okay, what are the keywords? Well, these are the words already uh, defined inside SAS. The other words like sample data A we have only defined. But sample data is a data set. A is a variable name. So uh, that's how we differentiate the keyword and the uh, words that we only have introduced. If I run this. Let me see it in the output. Only A is printed, nothing else. Uh, <clears throat> another proc I like to introduce to you is proc content. Proc contents is used to see uh, the details about the uh, data set, the location, different types of variables used. Let's go to the output. So you can see the output. You have the uh, data set name, the library where the data set is present, number of observation, number of variables and then observation length, uh, when is the data set created and uh, in uh, which format, which uh, operating system, which operating system this data is being uh, you know created. So the details, the entire uh, you know the entire detail about the data set you can uh, find it out by using the SAS uh, proc content. Mostly we look at uh, these things, the variable type and their length. You can see the three variables, uh, two variables are numeric 
and one is a character variable and the length of the variable by default the length is 8 of course you can uh, you know uh, manipulate with the length of the very uh, you know length of the uh, variable um, and we'll see how we can uh, you know uh, change the length of the variable how how do you have control over it but by default uh, it it's uh, 8 and the data types can also be changed but uh, we have defined a and b to be numeric and c to be uh, a character variable so that's about uh, the uh, sas proc there are so many procs out there and we'll explore uh, you know a lot of them in the subsequent uh, you know